Good morning. Today, I have a bottle of water with me because water is so important to all of us. Water is necessary for all living things to live. Water's in the fruits and the vegetables we eat. It's in the juices we drink. We use water to wash our clothes, to wash ourselves. We use water to brush our teeth. Water keeps us clean and keeps us healthy. We need water. Water is essential for all of life, for us, for human beings, for animals, and for plants, all living things. Well, today in our Bible story, we hear about something else that water is used for. Today, we hear about Jesus's baptism in the River Jordan. Now, do you know who did Jesus's baptism? I think you do. We've talked about him before. He came before Jesus. He lived in the wilderness. He did a lot of baptisms. Have you guessed it? John the Baptist. You're right. You got it. Well, John arrived before Jesus to tell the people about Jesus, to tell the people about who was coming to save them. And he would tell them they would need to repent of their sins and to be baptized. And that's what he did. He baptized the people as they were waiting for Jesus to come. Well, baptism is a very special act. It's an act where we do use water to symbolize our sins being cleansed. And then we become members of God's family, of God's church. The water is the symbol, the symbol that our sins are washed away and we have been given new life in Jesus. But you know what? Even as important as water is, John the Baptist tells us this, I baptize you in water, but he will baptize you in the Holy Spirit. You see, when you accept God's love, God's Spirit into your life, then the Holy Spirit becomes a part of who you are. God's love is within you. It guides you. It nurtures you. It helps you live the best possible life. The Holy Spirit, God's Spirit is life-giving. We need water to live, but we need God's Spirit to live fully, to be able to have the life that God wants for us. Can we say a prayer? Dear God, thank you for your baptism, the gift of baptism, and water. But even more than that, thank you for your spirit to guide us and to help us on our journey. In your most precious name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a great week, and I hope to see you soon.